Hi, in this tutorial video from Blair Technology Group, we're going to be telling you how to install or diagnose the wireless card on a Dell Latitude D610 laptop. Now before we get started, I'd like to go over some of the tools that you'll need to do this. We'll actually be needing a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll also be needing some pick tools. If you don't have pick tools, you can actually use the file of fingernail clippers. Now we do want to make sure that there's no power source to the laptop, so we'll remove the battery and the power cord. After we've done this, we're ready to begin. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to lay out the laptop and you'll want to put the screen back as far as it can go like you see here. Alright, and first we'll need our pick tool and what we're going to use this for is we're going to remove that silver strip that goes across the top of the keyboard. This is the silver strip that has the power button on it. Now you'll notice this notch here all the way to the right. If you position that pick tool in that notch, that's actually where we're going to be able to start to pull up this strip like you see here. You'll just pop it up on the one side where then you can grab it with your fingers and as you're pulling up you just want to wiggle it back and forth and, make sure, and it will release for you. It's not screwed down, it's just held in by snaps. You can set that to the side and once that's removed you'll notice that there's screws that hold in this keyboard. There's two of them, so we'll want to locate those. And then if you'll get your Phillips head screwdriver, we'll go ahead and remove both of those screws and just make sure and set them somewhere where you're not going to lose them or they'll roll off the table because obviously we're going to need those later. Alright, now that we've got the screws removed, we're ready to remove the keyboard. So you can position your fingers at the top of the keyboard. As you're pulling up, you can wiggle the keyboard from back and forth and it will just pull up for you. Once it's up, you'll actually notice the ribbon that connects it to the board. You just pull it up by that purple tab and it will release. Now we're ready for the wireless card. Whenever we're putting it in, we're actually going to put it in at a 45 degree angle first. And you'll notice the notch that it goes into uh, in this picture here. And it's at that 45 degree angle. Once you have it at that angle, then you can push it down and it will snap into place with those metal clips that are on either side. And now that we have that done, we're ready to connect the leads as well. Now these are delicate, so you want to be careful with them. The copper piece on the end of the lead, you'll actually line that up over the copper on the card itself. Once it's positioned perfectly, you can push it down with your fingers and it will snap on for you. And just make sure that the, it does snap on all the way. We want to make sure that it has a tight connection. Once that is done, we're ready to reconnect the keyboard. You'll notice that socket here on the, key, on the motherboard where it connects. You just position that clip over top of that black plastic and push down and it will snap into place as well. Now putting back in the keyboard, you want to notice these metal tabs at the bottom of the keyboard. There's actually slits in the casing of the laptop that this coincides with. You'll slide those clips into those slits in the casing and once they're in there, you can push the keyboard back into its place. Now at this point, we're ready to put those screws back in. So you'll get those and just put each screw back in each hole. Everything at this point is pretty much the reverse of how we did it when we were taking it apart. So it's all pretty simple. And of course we're still doing this with no power to the laptop. Now the silver strip that goes across the top, you may have noticed those feet there. They have slits that they slide into as well. You position those, uh, those feet into that slit, push it in there, and then you'll be able to snap that whole silver strip across the top back down. And that's all there is to it. You're finished. I appreciate you watching this video. If you like what you saw, if it helped you out, we'll have more videos to come. Make sure and check out our website as well. We have lots of great deals on laptops and desktops. And also see our frequently asked questions if there's anything else that you may need help with. I do appreciate you watching this video today. Make sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate all the support we can get.